Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Joffrey Noodle Legs here with tonight's late night horror review. <laughs> Hello, I've got a strange one for you tonight. Um, tonight we're looking at um, a sort of found footage classic called VHS. Now this has gone on to spawn a number of sort of sequels. Um, it's a very raw sort of kind of shot on video kind of film um and, and it's about these guys first of all we see loads of sort of like um these guys sort of performing really violent sort of like actions against sort of things it's really really strange and and the camera work is all over the place and it's really sort of shud shoddy and it's and it's like a and you think what is going on? This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And we see them like breaking windows and and sort of like just generally bad behaviour. Um, and then we join them going out. Um, that they they decide to break into this house because uh, they're after this VHS tape. Um, I don't know. It's not explained anything at this at this time in the film. So they're after this VHS tape. So they're going to break into this house where this old man lives, and he and he owns this sort of tape. So we see them in the car, sort of heading out to this sort of house. And they 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 get then, you know, I, I, again when you're watching it, you think, what is going on? This craziness, and you, you, you and you're at that stage of the film, you're thinking. Should I turn this off? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's kind of like that. Um, but don't. Stick with it. Um, I've seen this a number of times now, this film. So I'm, I know it's, it's like this. And then they they break into the house and they're looking around. And again, it's more sort of a swinging around sort of camera, swaying camera work, which can make you feel a bit uh, nauseous, uh, some of the camera work in this film. Cause, just because of the way it's sort of shot. Uh, but if you can, if you can sort of um, deal with that, stick with the film. Um, and then they go into a room where there's all these little TVs on, and they find the old man in the room dead. He's sort of like um, he's in the room and he's dead. And some of the guys that they, they can't find the tape, uh, so they start to go let's look around, let's look in the basement. So they all go off looking in the basement, apart from one guy. Who stays in the room where the old man and the TV screens are. So he stays in there. And we see him sort of turn on a VHS tape that's in the player. And then he sits down in front of the dead old man to watch this VHS tape. And we join him watching this tape. And this tape starts off with... Um, uh, th th there's like all jumbled up again but then we find a, a group of friends where there's two guys and and the chat was sort of like glasses and we see them in their sort of motel room um these obviously a group of friends and they're planning on going to create havoc in town so we, we see them that we see them sort of like leaving um around around the town sort of like being totally arrogant and annoying and horrible it's really sort of really juvenile behaviour. They're they're not nice um, men anyway. They're just not nice. Anyway, that they're doing this sort of juvenile thing, going to bars and getting drunk, and tormenting girls on the street. We see all this sort of thing going on, and then they go from club to club, and they go into one club, and we see one of the dudes sort of chatting up the girl at the bar, and she seems to be liking it. She's obviously you know well. Anyway, he, he says to her, why don't you go and get your, you know, he said, well, buy drinks, go and get you, bring your friends over, you know, we'll, we'll all have a good sort of like party sort of thing. So the, the, his friends come over, her friends come over at the bar and they all start chatting. There's one really strange looking girl, I won't say she's strange, she's actually quite really beautiful. And she's got this most piercing eyes, and like really massive. And she's she's sort of like... Taking a shine to the to the guy with the camera on the glasses, the sort of nerdy looking guy, and she keeps telling him that she likes him. She goes, "I like you, I like you," and he goes, "Yeah, I like you too," and all this sort of thing. And then we, we see that they they persuaded the girls to to come with them back to their um motel, 
So they all leave. They all get thrown out of the club by the looks of it. I couldn't. I couldn't fathom out if they've been um, um, thrown out or they just left. But it looks like they've been thrown out. And our, our strange-looking girls at a tree, and one of the guys goes over to sort of see her, and she sort of quickly sort of moves around and turns on her, almost like a cat-like thing. Um, she's very, very quick. And so she, after that, we join them in the car. And one of the dudes is in the back seat with the two girls, uh, the girl he was chatting up, and obviously um, our strange-looking girl. And he starts doing sort of drugs and giving them drugs and stuff like that. And then they arrive at their motel. And we're in sort of like um, the motel and the dude with the glasses in the bathroom sort of, sort of hyping himself up a bit because he's obviously out of his depth here. Anyway, he goes into the room, the main room, and one guy's sitting on the sofa sort of giggling and laughing like a little child. And the other one is trying to, to sort of uh, make out with the, the the girl he was talking to at the club. And they're kissing and that. And the girl, the strange girl, is, is sort of like laying on the bed where our guy with the glasses is, is um, supposed to be. So he heads over towards her on the bed and... Um, Again, she's sort of acting really strange, saying, I like you, and all this kind of thing. And then, the guy that's sitting on the sofa really annoys her. Um, and she, she sort of like makes up almost like a cat sort of a, sort of thing at, at him, sort of like, um, like she's going to attack him, like this sort of thing, you know. And she's like, and he, the guy with glasses calms her down, and she sits back on the bed. Anyway, we, we see that the, the other two that are making out, the girl is sort of passed out because she's that drunk. And the guy on the sofa told him, that we can't go any further now that she's passed out. Leave it, mate. Don't do it. Don't, you know, because she's passed out. So he doesn't. He he, he, he decides not to sort of like try and make it. He tries waking her up, but he, he decides not to uh, go any further with her because of like she's absolutely passed out. And then, so what he does then, because obviously he's quite aroused, he then decides to try it on with the, the strange girl that's on the bed, the one that sort of like likes our cameraman, the nerdy guy. And she sort of like, he goes over to her, sits on the bed and starts sort of coming on to her and kissing her. And she kisses back, responds. And our guy in the, the camera goes into the bathroom because he's, I don't know if he's upset or he just, He's just freaked out when you know what's happening. And then the girl on the... The strange girl starts um, being um, forceful with the guy on the bed. And sort of like sits on top of him. Um, he's taken her clothes off by now. And he's sitting on top of him. And then... The guy with, the, our guy with the glasses goes over to see what's happening. Because he, he wants him to film it. So he goes over with his camera, and she's sort of um, still being a bit forward towards our cameraman at the same time. Um, anyway, he, he doesn't like it at all, and the guy on the sofa starts taking off his clothes to join in. So he And so our, our guy over the glasses goes, oh, he goes, I can't do this. So he goes into the bathroom, and then she then attacks the two guys. Um, she takes a bite out of the out of the hand of the the guy that's on the sofa, who's naked as well, by the way. Now that they're all naked, um, and you see he comes running into the bathroom with a big bite taken out of his hand. And that guy with glasses with his camera looks in the room and he sees her attacking the other guy. The guy, the other guy, is now dead. Um, he she's just like almost creature like. Not like human like she's she's got like these really sort of sharp teeth. She's almost like transformed into some sort of monster. And she's killed their friend. So the, the other naked guy that was on that was on the sofa gets the shower pole and we see him sort of like heading towards her with this shower pole because he's gonna try and attack her. And at this point she's sort of um 
standing in the middle of the room, silhouetted, um, in a bizarre sort of position. He tries to attack her with the pole, but he, but she jumps on him again, a bit like a cat. She leaps upon him, and he, he goes lows on the floor, and then she ends up killing him, and she kills him disgustingly. Um, we just see bits of blood everywhere, and she pulls off his um, his manhood, and uh, she pulls it off, and sort of like throws it on the floor. So our guy with the glasses, he's had enough, so he tries to, he, he escapes, and he escapes from the motel. Um, they're on the top, there's two floor, and he, 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 we see him running away from the hotel room. And he heads towards the stairs to go down, but he falls down and hurts his wrist. And, but he's hurt himself because he's fallen down the stairs, because obviously he's drunk too. And he, he still managed to work the camera though. And we see at the top of the stairs, just peeking round, is the girl. And it's really quite eerie and scary. And then the next thing we know, she's downstairs with him. And she's looking really bizarre. Her, her, her head is almost split like that. And she keeps saying to him, I like you, I like you. Um, anyway, he, she, she, she then sort of like gets a bit upset. Because I don't think he can get excited or whatever. And so she's upset, and he, he manages to get out of the uh, main uh, complex, and he's knocking on people's door asking for help, 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 I'm bleeding, because his hand's been cut really bad because where he's fallen. She hasn't done that, but he's fallen. And um, she goes, help, help, I've been chasing. There's some guys in the van, he goes towards them asking for help. And then we sort of, the camera goes all piggled up again and we see him flying in the air and looking up and we see these like big bat wings so she's obviously some sort of creature and then it cuts back to um the guys at the house the old man's house when the, when the guy's been watching the vhs film and that's all i'm gonna tell you so what on earth is going on it, it this is like a a sort of Almost like a montage of short stories. Um, I only own a VHS 1 and 2. I don't have the others. There's about 4 or 5 of them. Um, and, this, then, and that's what I'm going to tell you. So what is going on? What type of film is this? And what is with this VHS tape? Um, is this like... I mean... The, the VHS tape reminds me of a very sort of um, J-horror... Sort of, you know, like if you watch this tape sort of thing, this is going to help you. This is going to happen to you. This is going to happen. Anyway, whatever's going on, you're going to need to watch it and find out. What do I think of VHS? I think it's bizarrely incredible. It's such an amazing sort of film. It's, you have to be able to stomach the, the camera work. The camera work is the hardest thing to watch in the film because it's everywhere and sometimes you don't know what's going on it's like this sort of thing you know sometimes you think what's happening i can't even understand what's happening and you just get like these images of like horror and stuff throughout the film but it's really really cool um the pluses of the film it's 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 a it's a clever sort of film and i like the way it's sort of shot with different sort of stories um but it all leads back to the, this tape kind of thing. I, I do like this sort of thing. It it's it reminds me a lot of um I know it's completely different, but Devil's Due. Um if you've ever seen that. Um not Devil's Due, the Devil's Own, whatever it's called. Um but it, it it's sort of shot that same sort of way. Well, I suppose it came out at the same time with things like Paranormal Activity, where all this sort of found footage and shot on home video sort of films came out, and it, and it is and it is just like that. Um, but it's really, really, really cool. The minuses of the film it is really strange, and a lot of people might not get it, or might not like it, or understand, you know, what on earth's going on. Um, but it's if you stick with it. And, and and you'll think, wow, that was terrifying. Um, so 
I'm going to score this a terrifying watch and I'm going to give it a, a solid 8 out of 10. Really cool film, VHS. Really good. Have any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know down below what you think of it. It, it, it is, It's completely different to a lot of horror films out there and that's what makes it amazing because it's original and it's different to so many different horror films that are out there. If I remember, the second one is, is a bit more um, graphic. Um, I'll have to go back and revisit that. It's been a number of years since I've got... And again, it's a UK thing. This was on Blu-ray... And the first, the second one's on VHS. Um, so I own it on VHS. Uh, but it's still really, really cool. Guys, till my next video, please check out some horror channels for me. Check out Horror Hands, Horror Geek, The Man V Film, RS Designs, I Am Pizzawell, I Am The Ice Lord, no, I Am Pizzawell, uh, Pizzawell, I Am The Ice Lord, Sarah watches um Sarah of Horror, Cat watches horror movies, and Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House. Till next time, look after yourselves, don't have nightmares, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.